In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a very interesting problem to design a stack to get minimum element from a stack in constant time. So, a stack as we know is a last and first out data structure in which element which is which inserted at last is the first element to be popped out. So, for example, suppose following elements are pushed in a stack. I push 3, 2, 4, 1, 9 and when I call the mean element, it should return the correct result. I mean, it should return the minimum value in O and time complexity. So, it means it returns the minimum element from a stack in constant time. And again, when I pop uh, pop the element from a stack then I need to print the minimum element from minimum element from the remaining element which is present in a stack so let's see uh, how we can solve this problem and before solving this problem let's understand the problem statement so so here is my stack and and I'm following elements are pushed so the first element to be pushed in a stack is 3 then the second element is pushed is 2 the third element i push is 4 then 1 and then 9 and now the mean method is called and we have to return the minimum element present in this stack so the minimum element present in this stack is 1 but the element which present at the top of the stack is 9 so is it possible to return 1 in constant time no it's not possible then what i have done is i i did so i perform two pop operation and then again i am calling mean so if i do two pop operation then 9 is removed 1 is removed the remaining element is 4 2 3 and in which 2 is the minimum element so we have to think how we can uh, solve this problem i mean is it possible to solve this problem using one stack or do we have to take two stack to solve this problem so to get the minimum element from stack we need two stack and we have to somehow insert in a way that whenever we call mean method we get the minimum element in constant time so uh, let's see how we can solve this problem so now this time i am taking two stack so this is my first stack and this is my second stack so in this stack i only keep minimum element and in this stack I simply push all the elements so let's uh, see the first element which I need to push is 3 so both the stack is empty so I simply push 3 in both the stack then the next element is 2 so in first stack I simply push 2 and in second stack uh, 2 is smaller than the th uh, 3 so the top element of a stack so I simply push 2 here. Now the third element is 4. In first stack, I simply push 4. And in second stack, I compare 4 with the element present at the top. So the element present at the top is 2. And I am going to push element 4. So we need the minimum element in constant time. So I push 2 here. Then the next element is 1. So I simply push 1 here but in this case the element which I am going to push 1 is a smaller than the element present at the top of the stack. So I push 1 here and the next element is 9. So 9 is pushed simply here and here 9 is greater than 1. So I push 1 here and then I'm calling mean method so whenever I call mean method I'll I return the element present at the top of this stack so the element present at the top of this stack is 1 so I always get minimum element in constant time then I do two pop operation now suppose 1 is uh, 9 is popped out 1 is popped out 
similarly one is popped out one is popped out and when i call mean method so the element present at the top of the stack is 2 so i simply return 2 so in this way i'll always get the minimum element in constant time so this is how we can solve this problem and now let's see the code so here is my java code where i have declared two stack uh, one is to keep the element and the other is uh, to push only the minimum element and during push operation here what here is the condition where i am checking uh, for second stack where uh, we only push minimum element i am checking whether if the stack is not empty and the minimum element is greater than uh, i mean the data the value which i am going to push is greater than the element present at the top of the stack top of the minimum stack then i simply assign that uh, value present at the top of the mean stack so i, I push uh, the data uh, in the first stack and the minimum value in the second stack so which I have explained uh, and in pop operation I simply pop the values and whenever get mean is called I'll uh, return the value from the mean stack and if you see the main, main method here I have pushed following element 3, 2, 1, 9, 2. Then I'll print the stack and minimum uh, mean stack so that I can explain it to you. And then I'm calling get mean method. After that, I call to pop operation. And then again, I'm printing uh, the value present in a stack and mean stack. And let's run this code and see the output. So if I run this code, see, uh, this is my original stack. This is uh, the value present in mean stack. And here is, is the output when I call get mean method. Then I do the two pop operation. And this is the original stack. This is the uh, value present in mean stack. And here is the result. Uh, which I get when I call get mean method so this is how we can solve this problem this is how we can design a stack to get minimum element from stack in constant time and that's it for this video for more such programming tutorial uh, subscribe our channel or you can visit our programming website which is https uh, webrewrite.com and the program link is present in the description box Thanks for watching this video.